What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg and today I'm doing a first impression on the Lancome Tien Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. So I went to Sephora, picked up some goodies. I also picked up an eyeshadow palette, but if you're interested to see what that is, subscribe to my channel so you can see the review on the eyeshadow palette that I did pick up. But today we are focusing on this foundation. Kind of hard to see it because it's super reflective. But like I said in the intro, this is the Lancome Tan Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is supposed to be full coverage. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a really, really nice sleek glass bottle, kind of frosted, and it just looks expensive and elegant. Maybe that's just me. I ended up exchanging my Huda Beauty foundation for this, so I'm gonna give this a go and hope that I have better luck with this than I did that foundation. If you're curious about my thoughts on the Huda Beauty foundation, there is a link up above and then also down below for you to check that video out if you're interested. And while I'm on track with the shameless, pro shameless promo, I also have um, a review on the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So it's either up or it's coming soon. So again, links will be up above or down below. So let's go ahead and get into some facts about this foundation. It is definitely on the pricey side. It is $47. And how many ounces do we get in here? It is one fluid ounce, so it is a standard amount. It's supposed to be a full coverage foundation for all skin types and it's supposed to have 24 hour color wear and comfort and it's also supposed to be transfer resistant. I'm super interested to, trust, to test this aspect of that out. Right, so it says that this has all the coverage that we need. It's going to cover flaws, pores, redness, which I have a lot of, and it's also going to help all imperfections visibly disappear. It's a velvety finish that you can wear up to 24 hours and it says to shake well before each use, which I can see why. It definitely looks like the foundation has kind of settled. So I have prepped my face with a boatload of moisturizer because it's going through dry season. Some call this winter. But yes, my skin is super dry right now. I want to give this foundation a fair shot, so I put on a crap ton of moisturizer, and then I did use my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a primer that I use on a daily basis. Enough to chat, and let's get into testing this out. So I am in the lightest shade, big surprise. 100 Ivory Neutral is what I got color matched to at the store. Um, I was an idiot and didn't go outside to see how this looked in daylight, so I'm going to trust that the lighting of Sephora is doing a good enough job. I did pump out a fair amount of product, and it is pretty runny. It does have a slight scent to it, but it's not anything crazy or overpowering, unlike some other foundations. Alright, so first impressions. I definitely used way too much product, maybe one day I'll learn my lesson with that. But I feel like this provided a really flawless coverage and it was so easy to apply. I didn't really have to sit here and work it into my skin. Um, I am worried that it is a teensy bit too dark and if it oxidizes down, then I'm really screwed. So let's hope it doesn't do that. Um, but so far I do think that it is a good match. So I can see some areas if you have super dry patches where this foundation would Stick. So definitely exfoliating your face and um, doing a really good moisturizer is going to be key if you have dry skin with this foundation. But I've heard that this foundation is supposed to be excellent for dry skin. So, so I think you guys can see with the half and half the kind of coverage that we're dealing with here. I do feel like I could use a teensy bit more right here in my cheek area. But so far, so good. I don't really see any issues. It looks like it's sitting on my nose nicely. My forehead looks decent. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply the rest of the foundation to the second half of my face and be right back. All right, you guys, so I finished applying this. It took like 30 seconds. I did end up using the rest of the foundation, but I definitely think I could use a little bit less next time I apply this. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the coverage that this is providing and I'm really impressed with how it's sitting on my skin. I feel like my skin does look pretty flawless. 
Um, I don't see it really settling into any immediate areas, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can get a better idea of what this looks like. So again, the only area I feel like I have an issue with is an area I always seem to have an issue with foundations is right here. It just seems to have, I just seem to have a lot of texture just right in that area for some reason. Um, it does look like it might goop up around my nose a little bit, but the nose is looking pretty good. I say this in all my videos, my nose is kind of like a telltale sign if a foundation is going to wear well or not. I do have issues with foundation sticking to my nose. And then again, I feel like my forehead looks really good too. Um, with some foundations, I can see it's instantly sinking in to where my forehead wrinkles are and this hasn't done that. So. Um, this side has been sitting for probably two or three minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and it feels like it's almost right down. It's still slightly tacky and I did get a little bit of foundation off of my fingers, but not enough to disrupt what's sitting on top of my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I will be back to give you guys some thoughts. So I definitely have some thoughts on the foundation and how everything applied, including the powder and then all the products I'm wearing on top. So I can see how if you have dry skin, like super dry, sometimes I get eczema patches on my face, which totally sucks. Or sometimes I just get really dry, flaky patches. If you set this foundation with the powder, it will make those areas a little bit more noticeable. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. But other than that, I feel like my face looks really flawless. I feel like my contour, bronzer, highlighter, and blush applied flawlessly and easily with like little to no effort on top of my face. So now I'm just going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. So as you guys can see, there's like still like the teensiest bit of redness peeking through that zit right there. But other than that, I feel like my pores and everything actually look really decent. So up here on my forehead, again, I don't know how well it's going to pick up on the camera, but like right over here, I have a bit of a dry patch. And then also like right here, just right in the center of my forehead, I noticed the powder kind of sticking to those areas. Like I said from a distance, it's not noticeable at all. It's only when I'm holding a mirror up like this. Like, even holding the mirror from this distance, I would really have to be, like, staring and looking for something to complain about. So, so far, so good with the foundation. I'm going to go ahead and do a check-in. So, it is 11.19 in the morning right now. I've had the foundation on probably for about a half an hour. So, I guess we can call, like, the first check-in time, like, 11 from when I had everything on. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see how this wears throughout the day. I do have high hopes. I do feel like I can kind of tell by the way it's sitting on my skin. I do feel like it's going to be lasting a long time throughout the day. So I'm really excited to see how this wears. All right, you guys. So it is now 420 in the afternoon. So I've had the foundation on for about five hours and I feel like it still feels really good on my face. It doesn't really feel like it's changed a whole lot since I put it on. I know sometimes with some foundations you put it on and it starts to feel goopy throughout the day after a couple hours. I'm not having that with this foundation. I still feel like it looks really good. It's worn really well um, throughout me eating. I will say I do feel like perhaps it did oxidize like it, the teensiest amount, but I still feel like it's a really good color match for me and I just feel like it's wearing really well. Like my nose still looks great. Um, I don't really have any complaints. The only thing that I did notice is that my forehead is starting to get a slight glow to it, but I don't mind it. I think that it's wearing beautifully. So I will be back at the end of the night for a final check-in. All right, you guys, so it is 10.42 p.m. and I am so ready to take this foundation off my face, but I don't mean that in necessarily a bad way. I just mean it and I've worn this for 11 hours, a little bit like 11 and a half hours and I'm just ready to wash my face and go to bed. So I'm going to do a quick wrap up on this foundation. I do feel like it held up really well and I will say 
this lasted through a dinner session of hot wings. So rather impressed that it's like not completely wiped off my face. Um, I definitely feel like my forehead is shiny, but it's like not anything super terrible. So I feel like if you do have dry skin that this is going to last really great on you and it's going to wear really well. Um, I mean, maybe you would use like a blotting, blotting paper or some powder on your forehead, but like I said, it's not anything that I am, you know, hating or I'm like, oh my God, it looks so bad. Like I feel like this foundation lasted fantastically for 11 hours. I will just say I feel like it did wear off a little bit around my chin area because I was touching it quite a bit. Okay, so you guys will see in a minute when I zoom you in, but just to be super duper nitpicky, again, it's not anything that's gonna make me sit here and go, I'm returning this. But I guess if I did have to nitpick at my face, I will say that my pores look more noticeable than at the last check-in, which I think was like at 4.30. Um, and it does look a little bit gunky around my nose, but for, like I said, 11 hours away, I'm really impressed. And I'm actually pretty impressed with my eyeshadows today too, that they're holding up. Um, I do feel like the contour, bronzer, highlight, blush, all that they put on is still, it held up throughout the day and it still looks really nice and really great on top of the skin. My only criticism, is that even though this is a neutral shade, I do feel like it did dry down a little bit on the pink side, but that is like literally the only like real actual complaint that I have about the foundation. And my other, I lied, now that I'm bringing up complaints, I do have a second one. Uh, my second complaint is that I did purchase the lightest shade. So for me, I still have like, believe it or not, a slight tan going on, which means in the upcoming winter months, and especially with me moving back to a colder climate, I'm gonna get more pale, which means that this foundation is, you know, there's a really good chance that it's gonna be too dark to me, too dark for me, which is super frustrating, like I said, that it's the lightest shade. They do, I forgot to mention earlier, but this foundation shade range is pretty good. They do have 40 different foundations. Um, they have warm, cool, and neutral range. So I can commend them on that. I just wish that they catered a little bit more to the paler shades because I definitely know that there are people more pale than me out there in the world. So enough of this rambling. Let's go ahead and do the final close up. Oof. So as you guys can see, it's definitely worn off. You can kind of see some acne spots, but to be fair, I was like wiping hot sauce off my face. So this, you know, area is pretty beat up. And then right in here is what I was talking about with my pores. Like they just look freaking huge, but from a distance, it's not anything super noticeable. But as you guys can see, it's also kind of gunked up around my nose a little bit but my nose lasted throughout the day. Normally it breaks up on my nose and my nose looks terrible at the end of the day and I'm rather impressed with how my nose looks. So like right here, you guys can kind of see the foundation did break up a little bit right there. And that's really only, like the only spot. I feel like my forehead looks pretty good. So in conclusion, um, if you are someone with a similar skin type as me, which is again, sensitive, dry, lots of redness. I highly recommend this foundation for you. I really think this might be my new holy grail foundation. I'm excited to keep wearing this throughout the next couple of weeks to get a feel on how I truly feel about the foundation. But first impression, like I'm super impressed. This is like the first time in the longest time I've been this impressed with a high end foundation. So props to Lancome on that because I like, I love this foundation. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this foundation, what your thoughts on it are or what your favorite foundations are. I'm always open into trying new foundations. If you guys would also like to let me know what you would be interested in seeing on my channel, leave me a comment down below. I want to make sure I'm putting out content that you guys actually want to watch. So I'd love to hear from you. Let's start a conversation in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.